we back to jalgaon sir my question is regarding interactive class that uh, as our uh, college is from rural area and uh, in the minds of student there is always question that they should interact with teacher or not because as english is their second language there is always fear in the minds of students how to overcome that barrier so i think it is not about uh, rural or urban i think it is a general Indi indian attitude that we have been told not to question in the class so i think this is a cultural problem it's not rural or urban we hardly have people questioning in the class we simply say that okay whatever the teacher says just listen to it and do i think that's an attitude we need to change the only way you can uh, try to change is is to forcibly uh, make them uh, participate in discussion if you can reduce the amount of lecturing and give you can try a simple flipped classroom you may not have the video recording facilities but you could tell them that i'm going to you read this particular chapter and then come to the class and then ask them to frame write down questions on paper and then come and ask so if you make that you tell that if you ask a good, good question i'll give you marks so you can initiate uh, actively give credits for asking question so ask them to submit questions instead of giving answers ask them to write questions and come to the class and actually submit it and that you take it as one by one we, we can improve them to uh, ask more questions sir uh, i have again one question that everyone is talking about communication that uh, for engineering student there is a communication problem but uh, in our university there is no practical paper or theory paper for english so how can student improve their english there is no scope for communication and uh, they will not get familiar with uh, syn syntactic and semantic pattern so uh, can you can you do something or can you uh, put some initi initiative steps for uh, doing something good uh, as a or for english language of course in iit bombay we don't have english courses but there are lots of courses available for free in uh, online platforms in say stanford and mit and so on if you have internet access please do ask your students to uh, look at those things when they are in the college there are also excellent uh, books written by uh, other authors where they can uh, practice particularly if you look at uh, british councils uh, uh, books english as a foreign language uh, there are lots of exercises available there uh, which is a good starting point whenever you come to a city like say mumbai or any other uh, nearby city which has this british councils uh, they have a good material which you can uh, uh, borrow from them uh, they might have electronic copies which you can uh, take it in a cd and then use it for your uh, course material so we ourselves had people from british council coming here and giving lectures on english and we have lot of uh, courses for uh, uh, students who like what you say come from rural background they have not been introduced in uh, any technical subject in english so we have remedial courses for them where we use uh, some of this material but we don't have an online course for that yet uh, good afternoon sir Uh, i want publish paper and i have two three options available with me to publish that paper so what factors i need to consider uh, that among three uh, which one i should choose are you going to list the factors or you want me to tell the factors no factors okay where should we focus on first of all you aim to publish a paper in a good journal okay it's a very uh, general statement don't uh, try to publish some journal will publish it so that is a wrong attitude to take there are lots of journals which just say that you just send it to me i uh, it will be reviewed in uh, one week and two weeks and it will get published so there are most most likely uh, fake journals uh, who say that they will increase your uh, impact factor and all those things okay or citation whatever they can do so that is uh, cue not to uh, do for those things a good journal first of all it is if it might be difficult to publish in uh, very good journals but you should start with some reputed indian journals to begin with which are published by societies like institution of engineers or you have indian Asso um, association for science all of them have their own journals so you could start with that and then actually move on to some international journals which have again published by societies first so try it in them 
and try to get original work done, not very, of course there are incremental work, there are some journals which pu publish incremental work and then you should aim at uh, publishing a journal in journals which are having a higher impact factor. So these are some factors that you must consider. Uh, thank you very much sir and can you suggest some authenticated plagiarism checker so that uh, that would be considered as an authenticated for uh, the standard journals? We have turned it in subscription but that is not uh, free. Uh, I think if your institute can uh, afford it, at least you should get a few licenses. You may not require a lot of licenses if it is very expensive. But if it is, if it can be afforded, at least maybe say 10 or 20 license for an ent entire university should not be very expensive. Particularly if you can impress upon your uh, principal or vice chancellor to get some subscription, uh, it will be particularly if you have a group of colleges, all of you can have uh, Turnitin access to say 10. Uh, 10 subscriptions or something like that. I do not know if any other subscribed services which is as good, it is just my lack of knowledge in that. But what I have found is the free checkers online are not as good, it might miss out something and uh, you can, you are likely to lose important uh, checks. Okay, thank you very much sir. Okay. The overall session or the course was really informative and it was interactive and it would be really beneficial to all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. So what I will do is uh, I will uh, take only about two questions per college so that we do not have a lot of waiting time. But we will definitely come back to you if you raise your hands again. So we will go to St. Francis uh, Institute of uh, Technology. Good afternoon sir. Good afternoon. Actually I want to do my PhD. I was directionless. After attending this course, now I am, you have put me on the runway. Very good. All your interaction sessions, all the God listened my player, uh, prayers and uh, inspired you to conduct this uh, course. Actually by listening the name technical communication, I put it may be regarding something language. After confirmation, you send the one message, it is not for the language. So I was happy. So I utilized all this course very well and we have achieved your target and I have achieved my take home message. Yesterday I read 15 page paper and made that 5 slides. So it made me very comfortable now reading a paper and making presentation. Now I am confident I can go through many papers easily scan and all aspects of the research work is easily I can do now. Thank you very much sir. Thank you, thank you very much. I am very happy that you could already uh, see the benefits. So I request you to try and see if you can translate this to your own students and how much, even if it is a little bit that goes to the undergraduate students that can prepare them to what is coming ahead, even if they are not going to take up higher studies. I think in any place that they are going to work in core, there will be some form of technical communication that they have to do with uh, science and engineering and I, I think Certain things that we learnt in the course are score for even for undergraduate, certainly for uh, masters and PhD all of it that we discussed is very important. I hope you can uh, come up with uh, very nicely designed courses around this material and we will be very happy to uh, make available this material online which your students can use. So please give us detailed feedback on how you can, how you want to use this course for your uh, students and then uh, we'll see the best way that is suitable for all the colleges. Thank you very much. Okay. Nitya Meenakshi from uh, Bangalore, Yelahanka. Uh, hello, sir. Hi, nice, sir. Uh, the thing is, first of all, from our uh, nodal center, Nitya Meenakshi of Technology, we'd like to thank for all the trouble you people have taken for uh, enlightening all the participants across India. Thank you very much. Do you have any feedback for us? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the thing is, uh, I mean, most of the time uh, we uh, encountered this um, audio uh, problems. Wednesday was a, a little difficult for us to follow most of the things. As I said, we have, uh, the government has given about 3 lakh rupees to each center to set up a good infrastructure. So, so long as you have a bandwidth, which is not in our hands, so long as you have a good bandwidth, uh, I do not see any reason why your audio or video quality has to be poor. The uh, audio equipment that has been recommended are among the best in the world and the technology that is used 
is not the one which typically that is used in webcam or this uh, audio chat, it is uh, among the best that is recommended for in terms of quality, encryption, um, audio mixing and uh, those standards. If you have a, a real difficulty, I think you should ask your uh, technical person there to get in touch with us and try and figure out where the problem is. It should not have been uh, this troublesome for you despite this kind of investment that has gone there. But I am sure we can fix that. So, uh, once you can fix the bandwidth, I think the rest should definitely fall through. So, you please ask your uh, technical uh, coordinator to uh, uh, get in touch with us to fix this. Sure, sir. Can that uh, Wednesday's uh, PPTs or the presentation slides can be uploaded in the uh, portal so that we can have a look at it? Yes, it is already uploaded in uh, IIT Bombay X, you will see the last section uh, contains the slides of the uh, presentations. Yeah, uh, my question is regarding the plagiarism uh, in the Turnitin software, I noticed some of the students because uh, what they did was they converted all these uh, theoretical aspects into pictures. Since Turnitin does not plagiarize these pictures, so they use that as an option in order to reduce their percentage level. Also, what they did was there is a filter option in Turnitin. So, the plagiarized words were deleted when they used that filter option. How to overcome this? It is not very difficult to overcome this. I think you have given uh, too much rights to your students. The, uh, the rights is controlled by the administrator. The way we have set it up, the students cannot do any changes, okay. The filter setting is all controlled by the administrator or the teacher of what to compare, how many words to compare and what to relax. What are the databases to compare, all that control is with the teacher, the student does not have the rights. You possibly have uh, uh, given a lot more privileges to the students which can be controlled. Now somebody using images that of course. Uh, you cannot put text as if there is any image and it has been copied as an image, uh, we cannot do anything about it. But nobody can put a text as an image. So, that can be easily handled. I mean, if you just look at the, I mean, you have to do some random checks and you have to go through uh, the reports randomly to check uh, many of these things. Okay, thank you, thank you sir. sir. Thank you very much. So, we will go to uh, the next college. Good this good is from sir. Davangere. BDT College uh, of Engineering. I would like to thank on behalf of all our participants for making us a part of this technical communication workshop. I have two specific queries sir. One is regarding these kinds of programs if you conduct for one week duration. What I mean is if you can split that uh, interaction of about two weeks in Moodle or IIT Bombay X platform and interaction for two or three days. That will be that would be most useful as uh, as told by most of our participants, that is issue number one. And two, in the beginning of NME ICT project, you conducted a research methodology course. So, many researchers are there in our center and our college also. They, they feel that if it is conducted again, it would be of uh, a much higher value to them. So, can you consider these two, sir? Okay, well, uh, the second one certainly can be considered, it is not a, a issue. The first one, there is a lot of logistical issues with that. Uh, the reason being uh, finding a time for teachers to come for a long time. Now, if we are, sub if we are going to plan this event during a semester, uh, neither can you find the time to sit for one whole day, neither can we find the time to uh, uh, spend so much here. But uh, maybe we should work out some other model where as you say, I understand the point that you said that if it is immediately following the online, the interaction would be effective. Uh, we will see how best we can do that. Thank you very much for that suggestion. Next is Walchand from Solapur. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Please go ahead. On behalf of the participants and organizers of this workshop at WIT Solapur, I want to uh, express my sense of gratitude to IIT Bombay for conducting such a nice workshop and enlightening us for whole five days. Uh, now I feel that having been equipped with so many Astra and Shastras of communication, we would like to uh, try it on our students in the next session which is going to come start on 15th of December. So at that time I request that uh, can our uh, discussion forum be uh, continued till uh, say three, four months at least so that uh, if we uh, uh, come across some problems in, uh, during implementation of all these techniques then we can have interaction with the respective faculty. 
is it possible sir i i cannot assure you uh, because the discussion forum is keeping it open uh, many uh, we notice that many people have not used it very effectively they just keep typing you might have noticed that most of them type something or the other so it is very difficult to parse it uh, that way uh, what we can do is uh, we will provide you with an email address or some other mechanism where you can post questions and uh, from there we will uh, get it answered okay sir thank you one more question sir hello yes please sir i would like to thank on behalf of all the faculty members for conducting such a wonderful workshop we benefited a lot from this workshop uh, my question is can iit bombay conduct training for the teachers uh, who can help with their students as far as the placement